Another video for you guys. On this one, uh, we're doing two three-stage colors and two color pinstripes. I do this job backwards. So like in my previous videos, I'm gonna show you how to do the pinstripes first. So this is an OEM uh, prime fender. Uh, I've already sanded it, sealed it, and then I mixed up some bronze color. And uh, that's the first color. So that will be the pinstripe, the eighth inch pinstripe. So both these are called candy root beer. One's candy light root beer, and the other one's candy dark root beer. So basically a black base under the dark, and purple, kind of like a plum crazy over the top, top color. So, and then both coated with uh, mid coat uh, candy root beer, but you would think they'd be the same, but they are not. So you gotta order each color. It looks black in here, but it is dark candy root beer. So this process, I especially wanted to do this video because uh, two, three stage colors, plus we're doing the pinstripes first. That saves a lot of, masking up and taping and trying to guess on the width of an eighth inch and sixteenth inch stripe. So this way we just throw on a piece of eighth inch on the bronze. We'll dust some red, kind of like a pinkish red that I make up and then we'll throw on some sixteenth uh, inch tape. And then I'll do the bottom color, drape some paper on it, and then do the top color. And then uh, clear coat it all. So we'll see how all this goes. And it shouldn't take me that long. This is a lot easier doing the pinstripes first. For those who haven't seen my other videos, be sure and search through my uh, videos and look for the one doing pinstripes first. So this will surely help you out. So I'll be doing the uh, masking off for taping up the eighth inch soon. I'm gonna let it dry for about 20 minutes to a half hour, and then I'll do the pink. So I'll check back soon. Okay, I'm laying the stripe for the second color to get ready for the second color. I want to show you guys a couple tips here. Uh, first of all, so when I do a stripe, I still got the other side to do. I use some guides or as points of, uh, you know, points to use on the other side for my positioning of the stripe. So in this case, I'm about a quarter inch from there. I figure about uh, almost a half inch there. And this crease right here, I'm on the inside on the lower portion of it. So, on this side, okay, so we got a quarter inch right here, I'm gonna be off, half inch, and come across this line right here. So those are my three uh, positioning points. So, now I got this rack set up, instead of laying this on a table, and just trying to hand do this, what I do, Don't pull too hard, and just slowly. Work it around. Now, sometimes this does not work, so I check my points right here. I just put my fingers right here. See how close I am. Do a visual from the front. Everything looks good. This way, when you put your fingers like this, put them on the stripe directly across from each other, you can use that as a point to kind of see if one finger is lower than the other and to give you an idea of where you are. So this looks very good. So I think we're good. I'm gonna spray some pink on here. It's like a pinkish red. And then I'll put, my, I'll put a guide stripe. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then I'll put my 16th. So I believe there's a 16th inch uh, spacing in between here. So, so I'll do the pink next and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, second color is on, second color of the pinstripe. So a couple things I wanted to show you is this is one of those Harley paint jobs where the in between the stripe, in between the two stripes is not a 16th inch and it's also not an eighth inch. So I'll try to show you a close up here. That 16th inch tape in between the two factory stripes. This is eighth inch. As you can see, it overlays the uh, burgundy stripe. So what I do here in a case like this is the center tape is my guide tape. So like I showed in previous videos, this gives me an idea where to lay the actual pinstripe tape. 
So what I do, since this is 16th inch tape, I butt it up against the first tape, the eighth inch. And then what I do, I leave the slightest gap in between all the way around. So when I pull this off, the center tape, You can see that that gap will be slightly larger than the 16th and it'll be smaller than an eighth inch. So that's how I do this. So I'll spray the black first, which goes from the, uh, the bronze stripe, which is this tape down. And then in between the stripes is the purple soon to be coated with the candy. So, another thing I wanted to mention is when I do uh, pinstripes first, I usually choose the color that the second color will cover the first color easier. In this case, the bronze went on. That's kind of a little bit harder. It takes a little more paint. And then the pink or the burgundy covered it right away. If I did reverse trying to take the bronze and cover the burgundy, it would have taken quite a bit of paint. So keep that in mind, which when pinstripe you want to do first and sometimes what I'll even do is do the main stripe the eighth inch and then I'll do the top color and the bottom color clear coat it resand it and I'll add one more stripe so some because sometimes that even works better but in this case uh, you know this is going to be kind of a tricky job because both uh, main colors are tri-stage paints so just wanted to show you those tips so we're moving along it's been about an hour since uh, we've done both these colors and I'm doing actually another job like this in between. So I got one in the booth, so that's why I'm out of the booth right now. So I'm gonna mask it off to do the uh, black. I could spray the whole thing black first if I wanted to, but I gotta watch the buildup on the very, very top here. So what I'm gonna do is just mask it off just to be safe. And then I'll spray from the stripe down black and I'll go ahead and put the candy root beer on there because that candy root beer is a little bit different mix than the candy root beer that goes over the purple. So I used to think it was the same candy root beer. I'm surprised they didn't use the same. But anyway, so that's the uh, next step. So <clears throat> hopefully you're learning something on this video. Be sure and check out my other videos too. Thank you. I got the uh, first color on, the first main color, black with the candy root beer. So one thing you want to make sure of, I'm getting ready to pull, or I start pulling all the paper, is be very careful. You got to leave both tape stripes that you covered a little while ago. You can see the eighth inch tape and the sixteenth inch. Sixteenth inch covers the uh, burgundy color, and then that eighth inch underneath there is that bronze color. So then what I'm going to do is mask up the bottom, <clears throat> throw a piece of paper on each side. Then I'll throw the purple on there and then more candy purple. The, uh, I'm sorry, the candy root beer, the light candy root beer. So always a good idea to do test panels. This case I did black and then I put the candy root beer on it. So to check yourself, you can always take some uh, cleaner, try and do this with one hand, and pour it on both. Give you an idea of where you stand with it. So. You can also take it outside in the sun if the sun's out. <clears throat> so that's the first main color that we did. This is the other color. Pretty amazing that it's, we're gonna start with a color like Plum Crazy. So what I'm gonna do is come out here, and I know this video is basically to show you how to do the pinstripes first with two tri-stage colors. I'll show you the brand codes just in case you're doing a candy root beer job, just like this. So this is the brand code for the dark candy root beer. This is the mid coat. Again, you use a black base. This is the light candy. And as you can see, these are very close to each other. In fact, I remember one job I used the same candy, or same candy root beer. And this is the color that goes over or under the light candy root beer. So we got this as the base. We got this as the mid coat. This is the mid coat for the bottom color over the black. So I wanted to show that to you. So just in case you're doing a Harley Candy Root Beer job, which is, I think this is like a five-year-old color or something. So we're gonna mask this up right now. And then I'm gonna spray the purple 
I'll show that to you uh, once I get that done. So I do have the root beer on this. Sometimes you get lucky and you can do the base color. Let's say a silver and let's say a red metallic and both colors happen to be covered by the same exact candy color. That works out real nice. So, but in this case, I'm doing both <coughs> separately. So the candy root beer over the black. Now I'll do the purple and the candy, light candy root beer over the top. So one more segment, show you what it looks like. Okay, we got our purple sprayed. So believe it or not, once we coat this, it'll look like this. So I've already done my test panel, another test panel. Uh, sprayed the purple one, and then I start spraying the candy, simulating how many coats it would take to actually get it to this color here, this shade. So you can do it either way. When you're spraying this, you can do the spray out panel, each coat, you know, one, then the other. Or you could just do it like I did and just keep spraying and just to give you an idea of how much coverage you're going to need to cover this. Another thing too is when I did the, uh, the purple here, you want to do it so you just get it covered and that is it. So you want to stop because now you got more build up going on here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and spray this. And it took about five, maybe six coats. I use low air pressure. Only for your respirator. Usually I wear a jacket to spray sock, but I'll wait until I'm clear. Plus I'm doing this for video, so but I am wearing a respirator. You can watch as the color changes. Make sure you get your hands. See, we still have a ways to go. This almost has a red cast to it, but it's it's getting there. Probably two, maybe three more coats. I get it uh, real close. Then one more coat. Okay, we're going to turn on the fan in here.
show you guys. Okay, basically. Okay, so we did the, the uh, bronze color first. outside show you how close it came I think it came out very very good not decided if I'm going to uh, re-clear these sand and re-clear them to get those flatten down those stripes a little bit probably try west sanding it first and uh, if it comes out smooth I'll I'll go ahead and buff it if not I'll go ahead and clear it I think it came out real good hopefully you guys learned something so thumbs up subscribe appreciate you watching